I'm at Seco Tools UK Technology Centre. This is the first of many visits to this business this year. And when you do come in this facility, it really is a wash with multi-axis and five-axis machining technology. But I'm specifically here today to look at the Suggest function on the MyPages digital portal. MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Oh, this is the square shoulder million for this material here, Rob. We've got the cutting data Adrian, here. Adrian, can I have a quick word? Yeah, sure. So tell us a little bit about the Suggest function and what it can do for engineers. Well, Suggest is an online, powerful, sophisticated, but simple, easy to use software to enable you to get the right tool on the right material with the correct cutting data. So it's online, any device? Any web-enabled device, whether that be tablet, smartphone, or a PC. So if I had an application, I could go onto the platform and find out what the, the best cutting tool strategy data is. That's absolutely correct, yes. But would I be right in saying engineers sometimes think they know best? You know, how can they embrace this type of product? Well, everybody needs help. Um, th there's a lot of knowledge out there and there's a lot of people st that still doing things the long way. With Sico Suggest, it's a quick way, getting the answer that you need in seconds. So as technology advances, do your new products get added to this platform as well? Absolutely it does. The Seco Suggest platform, um, there's a new release candidate every three to four months which captures all the new products. I'm intrigued, I want to have a look in more detail, let's go and do that. Okay. So Adrian, we're on a PC here. I know the majority of people are going to use this on an iPad or an iPhone at the machine yeah. or on the shop floor, for example. Do we need to log in? You don't need to log in. Um, you can use um, some of the, the features without signing in. However, um, there are much more advantages if you are signed in. Okay, so you don't have to have an account. You can be straight onto, on, onto this portal. Yes, yeah, as long as you've got um, a web-enabled web um, PC or, or iPad, which is the most popular, or even your iPhone. Okay, let's uh, talk through a scenario. Okay, so we'll go to Suggest. And the first thing we need to do is tell it the material. Uh, you can choose it from the Seco material groups here, being steel, stainless steel and cast irons. Uh, or you can type the material in. So if we want to be specific, let's choose, say, a 316 stainless steel. That comes up. So what's the directory of materials like? Is is it endless? Well, it's not endless, but it's pretty comprehensive. I would say we've got most of the m most common materials that are machined uh, in the market today are on there. And I notice you've got codes on there, so you can use or you can type in the AISI code. You can type in, absolutely, you can type in the ASI code, the ASTM code, um, or you can choose them, as we say, from the Seco material group. So we've selected 316 as a material. Let's now select a feature. Let's do that. So we go to the feature. We have uh, option of milling, turning, and internal turning. Uh, in this particular case, we're going to go milling, and that creates even more features, whether we want to uh, surface mill or face mill, create a shoulder or a slot or chamfer. We can, we can profile or we, we can um, create a hole. So uh, this particular feature, we're going to create a shoulder. We get options again on the shoulder milling. Are we, is it a straight shoulder or is it um, some kind of convex or contour shape? In our particular case, we're going to stick with the straight shoulder. So we select that, which brings up the feature page. Now here we can uh, select the dimensions of the feature. We can change the width, we can change the depth, we can choose whether it has a straight corner or whether it has a radius corner. If it has a radius, then we need to give it a radius. Let's just say, for argument's sake, it's, it's actually a 0.4 of a millimetre. Then we come down to the, the machine conditions, and this is the material. Is it... Um, uh, a, a rough skin, is it pre-machined? So let's just say we've got a stainless steel forging, so we have a rough skin selected. We can even d uh, dictate which back end that the customer has. So here we have no preference, but we could have cylindrical, Weldon, Arbor, Seco Capto, Combi Master. Uh, but we'll leave it on no preference and let Seco suggest the best tool. It's incredibly detailed and incredibly impressive. Well, it's very intuitive, isn't it? It, it, uh, it asks you the questions and the answers are there for you. You just need to select what, what, what is your solution. 
even here with a metric or imperial or <laughs> inch yeah. or metric. And then when you come down to other here, th yeah. this is your machine tool then, is it? This is the machine tool, the, the customer's machine tool. We have default settings here, but we can't possibly know what those settings are for that customer. Um, here it's saying that the max RPM on the spindle is 10,000. It may be 15, it may be 20. And that's for the customer to enter. Great, okay. Now we've done all we, we need to do. We just need to now find out what the they're suggesting or the system is Absolutely. suggesting. Absolutely. In fact, while we've been going through the features, Suggest has been working in background and it has already had one suggestion and it even has some backups, over 100 alternatives. Let's see the best suggestion then. Let's have a look. So we just select it. It goes through the process. So here is our best suggestion. We have the insert, we have the holder, we have the feature, and here we have the cutting data for the 316 stainless steel that we chose. If we're not happy with these, we can edit some of these. Um, for instance, the number of passes, the, uh, the, the feed rate per tooth, all of those we can, we can change if we need to. So now we know what the number one is. Why yes. is it giving us the alternatives as well? Well, if I, if I show you those alternatives here in a list, it might be that this customer is already a Seco user and may well have these inserts already in stock. Um, so he just needs to, to filter through and find it. And then he can, if he is using it, it can confirm whether he's using it correctly. Now, I think it's important to mention with this, it's a, it, it's a, a tool there to, to assist, like you've said, and it's a suggestion. So that yes. coupled with the technical ability of the engineer, the two of those together, could give the ideal solution. A powerful combination, isn't it? Um, and not only with the suggest, um, to a point where uh, you can even order these if you want to. So just add to the basket. What I have noticed is with this is that what about if, if you, well, there's no pricing or there's no availability or no stock levels? How, how do you find out about that? Well, that's where the signing up comes into it. Once you've signed up, because a lot of that information uh, has to be secure and has to be encrypted, which it is. So when you sign up and open an account, those, that information then becomes available, but only if you've signed up. So as an engineer or CNC machinist, it is, as you've said, a very intuitive tool. I'd be crazy not to use this, wouldn't I? <laughs> May I suggest you would be crazy.